Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Kasia Gulay and today I'm going to talk about where to look for progress in fashion. While doing one of the presentations this year, which was for L conference, I figured out that we actually seen it all in fashion. Like when we look at the covers of the magazines through the ages, we see that we would rather wear these jackets, right? And all these things that are shown on the pictures. Like this is something that we can find in our stores today. And even if we look at the trends from the last five years, we see that people were looking for 90s fashion, 80s fashion, 70s fashion, 60s and 50s fashion. So this is something that is coming back. Trends are that. So where's the progress? Fashion is much faster than it ever was. Actually, in 2017, people were buying 150% more than they were buying in 2011. And what we do is buy from the same brands and we are making fashion more polarized. Right now, 20 brands are earning 97% of all money that we have in fashion industry. So everyone in Poland who's doing fashion is extremely poor comparing to big brands like Nike or Inditex. True, like, sorry. These are the brands. There are no Polish brands, no LPP there. And what happens is that fashion is becoming more and more global. We all see that. Like in the five, last five years, we've seen Polish brands that were like becoming very popular on the internet and very popular globally. Not all of these brands are rich, but all are somehow known globally. So this is what we have thanks to internet. Thank you, internet. More and more people are using internet in the world. In 2015, there were over 3 billion users, which is more, like around 50% of global population. And this number is much higher in developed countries. And this year, there's over 1 billion more people using internet. Thanks to the internet, we have the rise of e-commerce and retail and social media. That is actually a tool that is helping us to build a global brand, smaller or bigger, but this is our tool. And how is that possible? It's possible actually thanks to just few companies like Google. Thank you, Google. And Facebook, these are the companies that are allowing us to sell globally. We all rely on these companies. We all pay money to these companies to actually sell online. We cannot imagine a fashion brand that doesn't have a Facebook page or use e-commerce somehow. Like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, IBM, Amazon, Cisco, Apple. Our all marketing, retail channels, logistics, business decisions, payment systems are no made thanks to tech industry. Tech industry gives us tools and infrastructure, but right now, tech industry is using fashion industry to strengthen their business models and try new industries, like health industries, like security, like entertainment and finance. And this is one of my favorite topics. People that know me will know what I'm gonna talk about. This is wearables, guys. So tech industry is starting to produce fashion in order to collect more data and in order to become more and more advanced in other industries like entertainment or communication, telecom, communication again, health industry. These are actually eye classes that are checking your blood pressure. Finance, health, this is health, not only sport. And there are obviously smaller companies. Lumia's H1 jacket is hitting us and taking care of our the most optimal body temperature. All its smart socks is checking infants' heart rate and Oxy oxygen level, so it's extremely, extremely helpful. Wearable X is helping people to become better at yoga, and Ambiotex is basically helping people to become better at sports. When we look at the market for Poland, I asked Allegro what was happening in the past few years. In 2015, they were selling about 100 wearables devices, and just before Apple Watch Premiere, March 2015, they started to sell 300. It's not like a big number, but it's triple of what they were selling before. In September 2015, they started to sell 3,500. And later, 32,000 uh, wearable devices at the end of 
2015, more than 100,000 in 2016, more than 200,000 in 2017, and almost 400,000 in 2018. And this is only Allegro. But what these numbers are showing is that this is huge potential for the future. Gartners is saying that next year there's going to be more than 20 billion connected devices, not only in fashion, but also in our homes, cars, and so on and so on. So tech is becoming even bigger thanks to using other industries like fashion. And thanks to that, tech companies are becoming the most, the most valuable companies in the world. Like in 2014, 15%, so 15 companies were in top Forbes. Apparel, it's 6% and luxury, it's 8%. In 2019, technology is 20%, so there are 20 companies in Forbes 100 brands. Apparel, 5 and luxury, 6, so it's 11. It looks like this. Fashion, 2014 and in 2019. It doesn't mean fashion doesn't grow, it grows slower than tech. And this is how the tech world looks like. So what does it mean fashion today? This industry will help tech industry to become even more powerful in money and in data collection and everything that we can think of. And it's, I think this is a become of hope for many industries, but also for many, many people in the world, because fashion will save our lives. If we use Apple Watch, it may see whether we will have a heart attack, or AirPods can check our hearings. Fashion is data, as I said, by helping us to become healthier, by help, helping us to pay, without taking out our wallet or credit card or to helping uh, by helping us to actually live easier lives we'll give away our data as consumers and what i found while doing research is that most of the top fashion companies are actually kind of strong in tech as well what they do is they buy tech companies they develop tech companies inside. They use sm small startups and later buy these solutions. So they try to be on top with tech. It's not a very optimistic presentation if we think about it. This is not like very optimistic data, but we can still win something and we should actually work on tech, wor work in tech, buy tech if we want to actually be not dependent on like big companies like this beautiful company like my friends from Google hi I like you very much don't kick me out <laughs> the first thing that every small company should do is to look alternatives for your marketing and retail this is important to so use Google search to use ads to use social media to promote yourself and to sell for example, at Facebook. But at the same time, you should try to collaborate locally or globally offline, or try to do it outside Google and Facebook. Good luck with that. What bigger companies should do, and this is extremely important for bigger companies in Poland, like the one that our friend is representing here, is to develop your custom solutions in tech industry and not sell it to bigger companies. You can also and should also use small tech, cooperate with, rather with startups, not only with big companies, and buy small tech. What we don't do in Poland, when I observe Polish market, is that we actually don't, don't buy tech startups as fashion industry. And when we look at the global market, especially global, like the biggest players, they all invest in like crazy startups like health, like even fintech, like sustainable logistics, everything that may be connected somehow with fashion in the future. And invest. If you cannot buy, everyone has some money. You can try to invest in tech, even as people, not only companies. We all have some money and we all have to spend it somehow to secure our future. This is one of the solutions for us. So this is all I have for you today and I actually did quite well with time. 
Bella. Yay. Okay.